Nick Ben Bluetooth headphones. Uh, they're not really, I guess they're not really as popular as they used to be. I, I personally like them a little bit more, a little bit more than the truly wireless versions, just because these usually pack a bigger punch in the battery department. Um, even if nothing else, at least you, you get a decent battery with them. So today I have a product from a newer company. Uh, you may or may not have even heard of these guys. They actually officially launched back in August. So all of their stuff is, is brand, brand new. Uh, and this is something that they just recently released about a month ago. Yeah, right around a month ago of the time of the recording of this video anyways. And these are, I believe it's AU sounds, possibly AU sounds, something like that. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but these are their AU or AU flex. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, like I said, I'm not too sure. Uh, flex ANC Bluetooth earbuds. And you did hear that right. I did say ANC. These actually have active noise cancellation built right into them. And that is what intrigued me so much about these. There's a big deal going around about active noise cancellation in Bluetooth headphones now. And I think it kind of got started with Bose. And then Sony kind of took that ball and ran with it. So I, am, I was curious uh, to see how well these actually work. We could actually go ahead and take a look at the box real quick. Uh, there's obviously the front. The thing that really intrigues me, and it's actually not on the front here, but if you see this, uh, and you know your codecs and whatnot, you probably already know what that knows, and I'm gonna go ahead and just flip it to the back there, and that means it has LDAC. <laughs> or high res certified, however you wanna, however you wanna call it, but uh, these do have the, L they are, compatible, I should say, with the LDAC codec and obviously SPS, uh, which I'm, yeah. Anyways, uh, we can actually go back to the back of the box here. You can pause the video, read it if you want to, uh, but I'll go over the basics real quick. There's obviously active noise cancellation, uh, high res wireless transfer rate of 990 kilobits per second. Uh, fifth, okay. So, the box says 15 hours battery life. This is an early production box, and that is actually a misprint. It, it's supposed to be 22, uh, and I did get very, very close to that 22 when I was in my testing. So just so you know that it gets better battery life than the 15 hours. Uh, there's an ambient monitor, monitor mode, uh, Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, now this does have a balanced hybrid planar magnetic driver, and we'll get into that in a few minutes. Uh, IPX5 rating, so splashes at best, uh, and it has what they call battery reserve magnetized buds, and I do have an opinion about that, and I'll, I'll tell you about it in a minute. That's basically how you have it. We will put the box right back here. Look at that. It looks all pretty back there. Basically, <laughs> this is what you get. It's your standard fare for neck band headphones. The only thing I really don't care for, as far as build quality goes, I guess, is this wire isn't retractable at all. And I know that's not a feature on a lot of uh, neck band Bluetooth headphones, but I kind of like that feature and I would have liked to have seen it, but it is what it is. It's not a big deal or anything, but a uh, ton of flex in the neck band, which you would hope for. Uh, I think a lot of people use these uh, to go running or even working out or anything like that. So uh, just know that they'll be they'll be durable enough to to hold up to your workout and stuff. Uh, but if you go, these go on just like this. So we'll start here. On this end, we have uh, it's a USB charging port, so that's nice. And then we have right here is going to be the power button volume up and down and this actually skips your tracks backward and forward and then this button back here is going to be your ANC on ambient mode on and then everything off button and obviously it just goes around the neck like so one of the things that I really like about this particular set is the way that they designed the earbud uh, it's more like uh, an IEM style of earbud than it is just your standard, you know, plop it in your ear. When you saw me put these on earlier, you may have seen 
the little magnet battery reserve. So since we're looking at it, I will go ahead and talk about that first. So let's start with the things that I don't like, because you've already heard one of them, and that's the cord not going in. Uh, that part, this magnet thing is, is one thing that I don't like. Now I do like the fact that it magnetizes and they're not just flopping around. That's cool. But the point of the battery reserve thing is you can take your, your earbuds out, listen to music or whatever. You take them out, you click them together and it pauses your music, which is awesome. That's, that's a great feature to have. And I, I do like having that feature. The problem is, is if these fidget around at all while you're walking around or doing whatever it is that you're doing, uh, even if they don't come apart, they will actually start playing your music again. And I know this because it freaked me the hell out. <laughs> it was supposed to be quiet. And I had these and I clipped them around my neck like that. And I moved a certain way or I don't even know exactly what happened, but I remember hearing things and I stopped, my heart was beating, I was freaking out because I was hearing voices and it was my music. So just so you know, that don't work very well. Uh, outside of that, uh, I think that's honestly, that's about where my complaints end. Just pause your, your music before you take them out and you'll be fine. It won't unpause your music if you pause it manually. Let's go ahead and move directly into comfort as in how do these feel in your ears for hours at a time. To me, this is one of the more comfortable neck bands uh, that I've had on. So that's kind of a personal preference, I guess. But for me, I after a while, I barely even realize that it's there still. As far as the buds themselves go, they are insanely comfortable. I have actually had these in my ears for upwards of about six hours. I barely even noticed. The only thing that really even reminded me besides the music pumping in my head uh, is the ear hook on the back here. That's really the only thing that reminded me that I had something in my ear. So that's, that's saying something, you know, to be able to listen to headphones, earphones for that long of a time without really getting fatigued. One thing I do wish, you will notice that this is pre-shaped and I mean, it's, it's fine, but I do wish that it actually came with a memory wire up here of some sort. That way I could actually shape it to my ear because sometimes when I'm moving around, I move my head around or something like that, I could feel it just kind of graze the back of my ear back here and it's, it's annoying sometimes. It's not really a complaint or anything like that, just something that I've noticed. Uh, but as far as falling out or anything, I mean, with the ear hook and then the way I put them in, the way they fit in the ear, I haven't had any issues with these falling out. So uh, that's definitely a plus. So I will move on and uh, talk about the ANC mode uh, just a little bit. I kind of wanted to get into this before I got into the sound review, uh, just so you know where my head is. Uh, but like I said, there is, there's two different functions and then an off. So you have your ANC on, which uh, is a 20 to 25 decibel noise cancellation. It cancels out things like fan noise, uh, AC units, that sort of thing very, very well. It cancels out voices if it's more than one person. So you know if you're in a large group and basically everybody's talking, so there's that hum of the crowd of everybody talking, it does cancel that out to a pretty decent degree. And then obviously when you get your music playing, you really can't hear anything of the outside world. Monitor mode is probably what you're thinking it is. It stops the noise cancellation and it lets you, it pumps in noise a little bit from the outside world. I personally did not like this feature. You would hear a little bit of outside noise, but it kind of got canceled out by the uh, amount of static that I heard uh, along with it. I personally wouldn't use this function if that's something that you're looking for. It's there. I don't recommend it. I guess I could have put that in my things I don't like section is the monitor mode. It's to me, it's, it's fairly useless just because the way that it does it, it, it uh, emphasizes the the white noise too so you get a lot you get static and it just kind of cancels itself out while we're kind of talking about the anc and just a little bit before uh, my sound review i do want to touch on this too uh, these are dual driver earphones uh and one driver and i i have my notes because i don't remember things so i have my notes over here so what that one driver is a planar magnet magnetic driver 
basically without giving you a huge lesson on how this works uh, is these are very very resistant to any kind of distortion electronic and audio distortion so because of that uh, they produce a very very clean sound because there is such low low distortion electronic or otherwise the problem with this is though the problem with a planar magnetic driver is they have almost no low end uh, only highs and maybe even high mids uh, outside of that there's almost no low end so that's why you have to use a dual driver design in these or any other planar magnetic headphones that you find you'll probably see that they're dual driver at least um, so this is the other driver that's in these is a dynamic driver and literally the only thing that the, dy that the dynamic driver is for is to produce the low end. But supposedly you get a very, very clean uh, high end and then the lows should not uh, interfere with that because of the separation in the speakers, theoretically. All this mumbo jumbo planar magnetic and noise cancellation, all this crap, don't mean anything if they sound like trash. They do support the LDAC codec, so that right there basically means that you should be getting about the highest quality audio that you possibly can from whatever device you're listening to, as long as your device supports that codec as well. Generally, they should, but just be aware that if your device doesn't support the codec, these aren't gonna sound as good as they should. So just keep that in mind. So when I do these headphone reviews, I'm gonna start at the low end. So when we're, we're gonna go bass and then mids and then I'll get to the highs. Uh, that way I could kind of build on everything because generally with headphones, um, if the bass is incredibly strong, it can bleed into these higher levels here. Uh, so I, I like to kind of start there. So we will start there. And I will say that the bass is incredibly solid on these. With these, the bass is very, very strong. It's not muddy, it is not loose bass. It, it's very tight and it's very responsive. It's never overpowering, but it definitely gets the job done and I don't feel like I should be hearing more from the low end on songs that I know have that low end. There is, there is, there does have a little bit of bleed over from the bass and that's actually, it depends on the song and the bass line. So not all songs um, suffer from this. It's, it's really, really the bass, real bass heavy songs that, that you'll, you'll hear it, uh, the bass bleeding over into the mids. It's not horrible, but it's there. Outside of that though, there is very good separation in the rest of the mids, or even if you don't have an incredibly bass heavy song, uh, the mids are very, very well, well re I cannot talk today. <laughs> the mids are very well represented as they should be. Moving on into the highs. Now this is where those planar magnetic drivers really, really shine. I mean, these highs are incredibly crisp, they're detailed, and they manage this without getting piercing. And these, these are fan freaking fantastic. Mariah Carey would be proud of these, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I, I really, I really, really like what they're doing. They could use a tiny, tiny bit of work clearing some stuff up, putting it all together. I would say this is a fantastic package. I don't think you're going to find too much a better sound in the price range, and I haven't talked about price yet. So these are uh, $200. So that makes them a little bit more than AirPods. And then they come in a little bit less than the uh, Sony uh, active noise cancellation. I don't know the WX1000. You know which ones I'm talking about. Uh, they come in a little bit less than those. It's actually pretty much right in the middle of those two. So the, the thing that I would say that these have going for them is they have the audio. You won't be disappointed. Uh, and then they have the battery life and then they have the active noise cancellation. That brings us to the end of this video. Would I recommend them? And the answer that I would give to that question is yes. If you're looking for something that, that kind of checks all of those boxes, then these are definitely a good buy. All right guys, that's it. I am out. I will see you in the next one.